Okay, guys, so I'm doing... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I'm doing a video because um, I'm far too lazy, as we all know, to actually sit there and type up a blog for you guys. I'm sorry. But, okay, so since I've been back in England, which is about a little over a month now, um, nothing's really been going on, honestly. Like, I got back to school, and school's been going great, and I had to be at camp, learned all these great technical skills and stuff, and then and all that's over, and Hal came to visit, and that was really great. He, um, he came in on Thursday afternoon into Newcastle, and we went and picked him up. And then we um, got back to Middlesbrough and had dinner. I cooked. <laughs> and then, you know, we went to the pub for a couple beers, but ended up going out to this crazy beard night at the cl at some club. It was really odd. I sang karaoke. Very, very, very good. I'm an excellent singer, as we all know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, we had a really good time, though. Um, the next day, we get up kind of late because of our really good time. And we missed the first train. Which was upsetting because it takes 20 minutes in cab to get from this train station to the one where we had our connecting train. And, well, honestly, our original train, we missed it by like two minutes, but... but arrived at the other station at like 12.22 and then our main train was leaving at like 12.26 okay so we get into the cab it's like please go there you know we really have to miss this train I just paid freaking you know a jillion pounds for these tickets well not really they weren't, they weren't that bad actually but still come on anyway so about about four minutes till the train is technically supposed to be you know leaving the, I was like I asked the cab driver, I said, you know, are we almost there? It's getting close. And the guy said, oh, you know, there's traffic. He's like, when's your train supposed to leave? And I said, well, in four minutes. And thank goodness for this cab driver, or we never would have made it. Because he literally, like, gunned it, wove in and out of traffic, and got us there. Like, right at 1226. And if it wasn't for him, we never would have made it. Um, and I tipped him, like, quite a bit for England. Like, in England, you know, tipping's just... Mm, neat point. Anyways, so we get to, we get you know we run into the into the station into the gate and we get through. And it's like twelve twenty seven and the train. It's like pulled up about a minute later. I'm like, oh, thank goodness, because honestly, I was sitting in that cab, I was watching that clock, and I thought I was gonna cry. I was so upset. I'm upset. I mean, it's <laughs> thinking about it makes me upset again. <laughs> So we get, we get to Edinburgh, and it's, fine. it's rainy and foggy, but it's still awesome. And so we get to the hotel. It's super nice. You know, two bathrooms, two bedrooms with double beds, flat screens in all the, bed, in, in all the rooms, iPod dock that plays the music in all the rooms of the, of the apartment, you know, washing machine, dishwasher, a sto stove, oven, anything, everything. It's just like a, an apartment, and it costs... Per night, about what my house costs per month. So, uh, but luckily it was free for from how he uh, had the it's like free night thing, so it was awesome. And um, we go out to dinner, and so it was really good. We had pasta, and we drank hot toddies and hot ports, and met these American girls, and then met these uh, guys from Hungary and Norway, and then these French people. Like that, it was. Crazy, and then we went to this show, um, in uh, this band. It was really good. Uh, we we really had a good time, um, but we were so exhausted. We ended up going home like right after the show. Didn't stay out too late. And the next day, we get up early and we go around town and you know go up to the castle and go to the whiskey experience and we go on this sort of ghosty ghost tour. Not really sure if that was a ghost tour, but it was cool and um. You know, we go to the Tartan Museum and, you know, walk around the grass market and go to some of these little shops and we had a full Scottish breakfast. Ooh. So tasty, let me tell you. Anyway, so we get back to Middlesbrough about 10.30 that night and 
pretty much just come home and sit on the couch and go to sleep because we're all so exhausted, you know, from running around for the past two and a half days. And, you know, Sunday we hang out, I cook dinner, and we just pretty much just talk. And we, we didn't go out. We walked around town a little bit. Um, that was it, you know. It was nice. How I left early Monday morning was really good. Um, and then I had Valentine's Day. Yeah, not a big fan. But, you know, we cooked steak and we didn't exchange gifts. We just, we watched X-Men, drank some wine. So that's pretty much <laughs> our Valentine's Day. Our heat. So, perfect. <laughs> Um, but, I mean, since I got back to, I haven't really been doing too much. Just trying to get back into the swing of things with school and everything. And then, like, this weekend I'm going to Glasgow. And then next week, uh, next month we're going to London. And after that we're going to uh, Italy. So, pretty, pretty busy, actually. It's been, oh, it's, it's been really good. And, um... But, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't go to class today because I wasn't feeling very well. But we launched a campaign to uh, about getting young people to vote, you know, like 18 to 30-year-olds to vote. And um, you should check it out. It's at tside.co.uk. It's like T-I-S... <laughs> can't spell, sorry. T-S-I-D-E dot co dot U-K. And um, check it out. It's a lot of information. It's going to be fun. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I feel kind of bad because I didn't go when we launched it. I was feeling so crap that I knew I couldn't spend three intense hours doing this. So, um, but yeah, that's it. That's what's been going on. Um, I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I hope that everything's going brilliantly <laughs> back home. 